Hi guys, welcome back to iMyPhone channel. Do you feel confused when your iPhone is stuck on the hello screen at the time you just made an update? There could be several reasons, but the main purpose today is to guide you how to fix it. Let's begin. Tip 1. Force Restart iPhone For those problematic iPhones, the first method you can try can always be force restarting them. Follow to see how to do that. Press and release quickly both volume up and volume down buttons. Then move on to the side button. You can release it the moment you see the Apple logo, and your iPhone will restart without seeing the hello screen. Tip 2. Remove hello screen with iMyPhone Fixpo. Like other iPhone problems, this hello screen issue can be solved easily with the tool recommended here, which is iMyPhone Fixpo. As the all-in-one iOS system repair tool, Fixpo can fix your iPhone troubles as always with its standard mode, and no data will be erased during this process. You can first download it and see how to use it. Now, open Fixpo and choose standard mode that will cause no data loss. Connect your iPhone to the computer for it to be detected, and then click on download to get the firmware that will be later used for the fixing process. The whole downloading will take you up to 15 minutes or so. You may wait for it to complete and begin the last step. With the firmware on the computer, click on Start and check the instruction carefully to bring your iPhone into recovery mode. And Fixpo will instantly start to fix your iPhone and finish it in 5 minutes. Try not to touch the cable when Fixpo is working or your iPhone may be disconnected. Then it's done! Fixpo has finished its job and restarts your iPhone. See? Your iPhone now is back to life and the black screen is gone with all functions working normally. Tip 3. Restore iPhone to factory settings Before that, connect your iPhone to the computer and follow to let your iPhone show the Connect to iTunes logo. Press and release the volume up button, then do the same to the volume down button. Press the side button, release it only when the Connect to iTunes logo appears. Now, go to iTunes and click on the Restore option on the pop-up window. iTunes will begin to download the firmware. However, this method will erase all your iPhone data, and you can make a backup first or just risk losing all of them. Alright, that's all for today's video. If it helps, please drop a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.